game, Burnley manager Stanton N for one would have been happy not to play. Such were his emotions following the midweek horrors in America. But all of football does go ahead. A two-hour distraction, perhaps, at this very sad time. And Burnley fans will be looking in particular to their favourite entertainer, Glenn Little, an orthodox tricky right winger whose successful late fitness test means he can maintain his ever-present status this season. Just ask the likes of Ian Moore of Little's creative influence. Suspension means Gordon Armstrong is forced to miss his first game of the campaign, but his absence allows the experienced Mitchell Thomas to make his first season start. The only other absentee from the side which beat Rotherham last week is Paul Weller, for whom Gareth Taylor is accommodated. An encouraging, if ultimately disappointing, performance at Bolton in the Worthington Cup in midweek offered several members of the uh, Walsall squad an opportunity to impress, and all have taken it by holding their place for today's game. The likes of Matthew Gadsby, Fitzroy Simpson, Darren Rackin, Ian Roper were all brought in while others shook off knocks or were arrested. One man who was expecting arrest was keeper James Walker, but following an injury to Lee Harper midway through the second half at the Reebok Stadium, he was forced into action and with extra time played as well, almost got in a full 90 minutes. Today's referee, Phil Prosser, makes his first ever trip to Turf Moor. Side, top of the table and certainly in good form against a side with four straight defeats. 
Well, uh, if the uh, predictions were being made, this is already a foregone conclusion, but Stanton M was quick to point out what a tricky game they're expecting from Warsaw today. And the first division wouldn't be the first division if it wasn't for its regular upsets. Early touch for Ian Brightwell with the fingers. Skippering Warsaw today in the absence of Tom Bennett, who's on the bench. Early mix up between Nayere and Mitchell Thomas. Been a mixture of sunshine and showers here at Turf Moor with the pitch in immaculate nick. It's all in the unusual colours for them of white with green trim. The Clarence, as you expect. Here's Little, first touch for him. And the Burnley skipper. Steve Davis. Here's Moore. Now West. And the game has its first corner. At the back of Adonalde. Just over a minute gone. And Burnley's first opportunity to threaten. Which they don't do because of Darren Rack's intervention. Played by Erevelto. Crunching tackle by Noere on the back of Matthias. Matthew Gatsby, one of those players who took the opportunity of uh, squad rotation, so to speak, in midweek. Try and hold down his place more regularly in the Walsall starting 11. Good run by Cook, picked out by Davis. That's not uh, going to stay off. Good run from the Burnley playmaker from the centre of the midfield. Thanks to Davis's challenge. It's brushing off the legs of Matthias. Taylor with the header. Matthias winning the throw. Atmosphere at Turf Moor, but there was an unusual edge to the atmosphere here today, which I suppose will be reflected up and down the country at today's football matches. And for understandable reasons. Davis in a little bit of trouble at the back, but he's a good footballer along the deck and ably demonstrated that he didn't mind the odds being stacked against him there. Here's Taylor now on halfway. Sweeping it away, but not successfully. Here's Adonaldi. Matthias. Little ball in, which uh, Jorge Letao tried to bring under control with the outside of his boot. Here's Noere. Ran into trouble. Goodman in the centre of the picture there, one of five substitutes. I think he was probably the unluckiest to miss out today. Recent Achilles problem, which he has overcome. Davis uh, was caught in the face by Leitao. Foot up is the verdict. Raised boot of the Portuguese. Towards Taylor. 
and it'll reach Cook, and it needed saving. Legs of Walker, left foot drive of Cook, and the first real opportunity of the game is well dealt with by the goalkeeper. Just suddenly found himself in some space, Paul Cook, and he drove it low and hard, needed saving. who always a target from corners. A little bit of a clash of heads, which the referee hasn't spotted. There is a man down in a heap. His attention's been drawn to it now, but the play goes on. It's Tony Barris who's in trouble. Well, we still play on. Here's uh, Clay Tower losing out to Ball. Given away. Here's Rack poking it through the legs of Noire. Mitchell Thomas, though, intervening. And all this is against a background of a man lying virtually prostrate in the area. And they stopped the play now. Obviously didn't see it, the referee. James Walker's arms were waving wildly around to try and attract his attention. Tony Barris was in a heap. Feet again, Tony Barris. Looks a little dazed, as you'd expect, however. He and Davis were clashing. Nothing uh, illegal about it, but it was a uh, buffeting that he took. Troy Simpson, put away by the tall figure of Aronaldo. Chase on for Davis. Back to Macopoulos, not the greatest clearance. But it uh, reached a Burnley player, Alan Moore. Here's Little and West. Ball forced into uh, a reverse pass. Here's Noere. towards Taylor. He's jumped, but a little too early. He couldn't angle his head around in the direction he intended. ultimately uh, will go for the aerial power of Gareth Taylor from those searching goal kicks. There's Noere showing the skills. Confident player. And he manages to find Paul Cook at the end of it. There is Taylor again. Ball working it to West. West to Little. 
closed in by two Walsall players, but uh, we'll expect that most of the afternoon. Good turn by Moore, that referee says it was a fair challenge on him. And away comes Darren Wright with the ball. Gadsby helping it on. Rather did too much with it there, Matthew Gadsby. Davis helped up towards Gareth Taylor. Firm header away by Roper. Back to his goalkeeper by Barracks. Davis winning it comfortably. Helped on though by Ball. Mistake by Moore. Trying to help it into the path of Little, who wasn't quite on the same wavelength at that point. Simpson trying to pick out Matthias. Davis comes across. And Macopoulos will clip. to be back to Barris. Gadsby wants more. It's all a bit tight in there, but a free kick award will give Walsall a little more time. Foul on Gadsby. Baere losing out. Leitao in turn losing it to Ball. Messi at the moment this game. Either side have settled into the task. Foot up, an indirect free kick. Enovelto was the man who was offended. Alan Moore, the man penalised. Raised foot. Bryce well. Simpson thought about shooting was a little far out for that Darren Rack getting the better of West here's Matthias now time to pick out a cross there are targets but he's opted to go in field which uh, was a bizarre move and uh, even more strange as he's now lost it and here's Little he's tripped over at the vital moment but great skills from him getting away from trouble and the warm applause will tell you how pleased they were with that Does get the crowd buzzing, uh, Glenn Little when the ball comes near it. As Mikopoulos gathers that bouncing ball in. <laughs> One of those players who doesn't mind if two or three defenders come toward him, he can use both feet to get himself out of trouble. who won it, but I the goalkeeper was going to get on the end of it. Taylor traps it well, looking for support. Brings West into the play. Little wants it inside of him. Here is Little. Dropping the shoulder and opting to spread it to the left. Noere. Alan Moore. Now Cook. Also working hard to close down the Burnley options. Here's Ian Moore. In the end, Ian Brightwell had to hurry a little more than he intended to do, but he's cleared it for the corner. two or three players before Walker could make that save but save he did 
and not for the first time in the game either. Now Little. Time to take on a man. Instead, opts for Mitchell Thomas. He brings in Noere. Alan Moore. Noere has continued on the overlap. Another corner. But James Walker almost brought into action quicker than it intended. When he was called on a few moments ago, he made a terrific save from Kevin Ball. Again, it was aimed in towards the penalty spot. Little! Oh, he hit it, but couldn't get the direction. Two very good opportunities for Burnley. Neither of them are converted into goals. Kevin Ball's had a point-blank range, practically came through a posse and was well saved. Little shot, well off the target. Four. Barris's header won't go out of play. Ian Moore will make sure that doesn't happen just yet. Tries to bring in Little. Oh, he's done well. Wins the throw. Such a confident player. And although he's got right midfield duties, many players will try and push him on into that right wing berth as often as possible. Here's Cook. Thomas. Again, here's Leitao, Matthias, forward by Adam Naldi, looking for Matthias, Mitchell Thomas has poked it just far enough into the path of his goalkeeper, wasn't much to spare, Brightwell keeps it on, but uh, in fact it had already gone out, here's Rack, Rack, it's good play from Darren Rack. Oh, he's missed it. I suppose in many ways he'd done the hard bit by weaving his way through the defenders. And he will be very disappointed that having got in there, he put it wide. Great skills, good balance. All but the finish. And he's been uh, in and out of the Warsaw team in recent times, but he is on song. He's been uh, a terrific servant for Warsaw in the last couple of years. And Darren Rack showed just why he's so popular with the fans. Here's Taylor. Lost out. And here's Matthias, and Warsaw are now beginning to express themselves a touch here. Here's Simpson. Now Matthias, the offside flag's gone up. It would only have been marginal, but marginal will do for Burnley. Sort. 
Plenty for the Burnley bench to think about. This side have rather lost their way in the last few minutes. Taylor's lost the ball to Fitzroy Simpson. Two former Manchester City players, although at different times. Here's Simpson. And Gadsby opts for the goalkeeper. Tries to pick out Matthias. Headed away by West, gathered in by Adenaldi. 1-2 worked with Matthias. Little coming back. And Little winning the duel. Can defend as well. Decent value at £100,000. minutes have passed chances for both sides although perhaps I will be the better ones coming the way of the home side although Darren Rack will probably beg to differ still goalless now there's no offside flag this time as Matthias goes in and tries to pick out Leitao and would have done but for West who saw the danger early and intervened the defending from the former Berry man It is noticeable how much better Walsall have played down the left-hand side in these last few minutes, and they'll be particularly delighted to have seen Messrs Little and West operating in retreat. made a run for him but perhaps instead for the simpler ball is Davis Taylor just over Taylor picked up by Brightwell Gadsby's given that away here's Little looking for runners West on the overlap here's Ball and now Davis Little tried to guide it into Alan Moore but Aronaldi had seen what uh, was being attempted. Here's Rack. Now the space to the left-hand side, and well, they will have to regroup here. Here's Fitzroy Simpson and Matthias coming down the left again. Warsaw. It's a deep ball and needed clearing, and was by Noeri. Matthew Gansby was hoping that he might get on the end of that before the big Frenchman intervened. Fitzroy Simpson won't put it past him that that was exactly what he was intending to do and it reaches Barris oh and a second time as well and the centre half had two chances within a matter of seconds there it came from a wicked in swinging corner from Fitzroy Simpson well the way he struck this it really did need a save from the goalkeeper Ultimately, it was beaten away to Barris. Adonaldi. Matthias. Walsall on top here. Burnley looking to regroup, but not able to. Again, uh, Matthias was within a whisker of being let in. Quick throw towards Matthias. Davis in the way. It is noticeable how many left-sided players Warsaw have. Arnaldi, Matthias, Fitzroy Simpson. And they're working it well. Here is one of those left-sided players, Fitzroy Simpson, and it needed helping over the bar. And it was Nicopolis backpedaling, scooped it over his own bar. 
An audacious little clip from Fitzroy Simpson. And Burnley are very, very pleased to have preserved their clean sheet at the moment. to take the corner again with pace in it towards the goalkeeper had to be headed away by ball well, it's clearly a training ground routine to drive it so firmly straight in at Macopolis is there going to be variety again it's firm again another corner Challenge for the keeper. There's a player right in front of him in Arenaldi, and he kept his eye on the ball and double fisted it away. Also trying to keep it alive, trying to keep the pressure on Burnley. And Nicopolis and Co. have ridden that storm out. Taylor's header. Moore returns it. Taylor again. Turn the corner. Well, it's been an intriguing game so far. Only really did look as though they'd uh, wrestled control, but it's been Warsaw who've threatened since. The home side would be glad of a goal. And quickly, Taylor's back header, confusion in the area, they'll have another corner, a slice clearance by Ian Roper. <laughs> Swung in by Little, away by Rack, Little will get a second opportunity. Rack, though, has closed him down quickly. Here's Noere. He's done well. But uh, Darren Rack was one barrier too many for him. That's out of play. And Avelto tried to bring some of the pressure off his back four, but failed. have been awoken by Warsaw's recent spell of pressure. Davis. West. Thomas. Took his time before trying to pick out the right ball. Trying to find Alan Moore. It was headed away by Ian Brightwell and a Burnley throw. Cook. Looking for Noere, and here he is. Great skills, but referees way play on. The Burnley fans thought they had a penalty. Here's Ball. Now West. Looking for and finding Little. Two men round him. And Matthias and Adonale have sorted it out between them. Simpson closed down by Ball. Ball gets the better of him. Here's Alan Moore looking towards Taylor, but it's too firm. And will go out for the goal kick. No, it brushed off the defender. It's a corner. They were in guts! Otherwise! It's over Taylor. Little. Thomas. The ball in! gone for another corner thanks to Roper Davis had absolutely hurled himself at it and it was Roper who got the touch that mattered it's ball in from Thomas a whisker away from it the skipper Little trying to retrieve it quickly here's West Little again 
Headed ball towards Moore. Headed down into the path of Thomas. And the header goes in by Gareth Taylor. And Burnley wanted a goal. And Burnley have a goal. Approaching half an hour. And after Warsaw's best spell of pressure, James Walker has been beaten. And Gareth Taylor celebrates. Mitchell Thomas, good ball. Finish well. It's not the first ball Mitchell Thomas has teased Warsaw with. This time, Burnley have benefited. Well, Burnley fans aside, you have to have a touch of sympathy for Warsaw. They certainly tested Burnley for a three or four minutes there, but once Burnley reasserted themselves they have control well maybe that last few minutes just explains why these two sides are at the different ends of the table Burnley spell of pressure did yield a goal also didn't Been charged down by ball. Gareth Taylor does his best to make something out of it. But Walker can clear the danger. Little off the arm of Aronaldi. Free kick to Burnley. Tightly to him, Matthias coming to assist. What a corner. <laughs> and now Burnley have a foot in the door. The mascot and Kerr will all be hoping they can prize it wide open. Thomas. Little. And again, got round the back. Lovely ball in and headed away under some pressure by Tony Barris. Warsaw suddenly are being rattled. Teasing ball in. Davis thought he might have the second. With a bit of a shove from Alan Moore, picked out by the assistant. And Warsaw will have a free kick. Burnley fans applauding their side, whose application in the last few minutes has certainly put them into the ascendancy. Davis is header. Control from Adenaldi. Matthias, the tackle from Davis. West under pressure. Walsall throw. Well, if Walsall can begin to string some passes again down this near side. Who's to say they can't open up Burnley again? Meanwhile, Matthias has overrun that one. Rank. And again, shot was blocked, spinning in the air. Away by Nerere and back by Thomas to his goalkeeper. Approaching the last ten minutes of the first half. And Burnley as many would have predicted, are ahead. More. To 
the other more. No power, and therefore no bother for Walker. Matthias's header gets it back from Leitao. Adonaldi on the overlap, little low back pedalling and clearing. Only as far as Simpson. Gadsby. And again. Brightwell offers himself as an option. Head of Elto. Loses out. Here's more. Scampering away was caught by Head of Elto. Who apologizes and looks as though he's going to avoid a booking. The Brazilian quick to atone for. Actually, I'm not sure it was his challenge. So anyway, no one got a booking. Tangle of legs. Matthias given away. Here's Davis. Skills from him. Little. Thomas. Noere. Little. Under pressure that has options. Here's West. Coppolis with the up and under. Simpson and Ball looking for it. Davis pumping it a little towards Taylor. Here's West. Good call from the goalkeeper and a good dummy by Barris. Brightwell. Now here's Little. Leaves it for Ball. Kicks out West. Now Davis. It's quite a strong wind picking up from the right hand side of the ground. And once or twice players have misjudged hanging balls. Mitchell Thomas has judged that pretty well there. Not a bad ball either at the end of it. But Barris was in the way. Here's Matthias. And Analdi. Leitao. Leitao comes away with it. You could see what he was attempting to do, put Darren Rack away, but once more, Mitchell Thomas shows his wealth of experience to thwart Rack. Getting on for 700 games, Mitchell Thomas. Darren Rack certainly was uh, well blocked by the uh, acting centre half. Here's Moore. Looking for Taylor. It's not a bad ball, and Brightwell's misjudged it, and Walker will be forced, albeit successfully, to come from goal. Simpson. Looking for the right ball, picks out Darren Rack. Closed down by Cook. Tugged by Got a bit of shirt pulling. <coughs> Half a chance for Gareth Taylor a moment or two earlier. Walker, though, came quickly and decisively. Here's Matthijs. Adonaldi, header from Leitao, but catching practice from Acopolis. <laughs> Adonaldi. Here's Little. Ball in towards Moore was a beauty, and Moore's brought it down, and he's looking for an option, and although Taylor was that option, the pass didn't quite reach him. Sensible play from Moore. Fed, inevitably, by Glenn Little. Teasing ball, just enough on it to reach Moore. 
brought it down and you could see he was looking to play Taylor in but Gatsby was there Adonaldi dumped away by West well judged by Barris forward by Cook hurriedly five minutes to the break and Walsall will be grateful to go in at one nothing and nothing more Brightwell Gadsby closed in successfully by Ball Early fans appreciative that Roper was closed in by Ian Moore, causing great discussions on the Walsall bench. Davis heads away. Adonaldi giving away possession, but Ball's pass didn't reach West. Adonaldi away by Thomas, and as far as Simpson, who hit it first time, he was off balance, and the result was that it was off target. Worth a go. Wasn't too far wide, but far enough for McCopolis to watch it. Taylor's flick, Alan Moore, Brightwell's back pass, Walker's clearance. Up towards Hedda Velter. Noere was fouling him, says the referee. Simpson taking the free kick quickly. Darren Rack's on the run, but Davis had seen that. Picked it out and then picked out a decent pass to Alan Moore. To his namesake, but Roper's there. for Taylor and still Taylor and well blocked and Ian Moore and a great save by a scrambling goalkeeper well you'll see on the training grounds around the country that goalkeepers work on getting up after they've made a save they'll do it time and time again and here is why first the save then they're up second save was brilliant really good goalkeeping to deny Gareth Taylor and Ian Moore. Great agility. He is a very, very accomplished goalkeeper. And he proved it there. missed it completely and I have to say what an accomplished goalkeeper he is he's had an aberration and Ian Moore scores well how frustrating is that not for Burnley but for him well the players were all turning away the goalkeeper called never got anywhere near it he called for it no, Eric got there first. Ian Moore couldn't miss, and he didn't. Well, your heart goes out to him, but maybe I oughtn't to have called him so accomplished. It was the old banana skin. And poor old James Walker slipped on it.
well, Burnley have much more security at half time. Two minutes of added time at the end of the first half. And all of Walsall's endeavours will be wasted. There's a glimpse there of Burnley's assistant manager, Sam Ellis, who is determined that his team maintain their composure for those last couple of minutes. There's Sam on the right, Stan Tennant on the left. That was a real bonus for them. And your heart has to go out to James Walker, who just lost his geography for a second there. And he knew it. Here's who more. West. Little. Away by Barris. Looks as though it was going to be anything but that. Warsaw certainly had their opportunities, but once Burnley had broken them down, Gareth Taylor's header. Warsaw began to wobble. Ian Moore, the man who makes it an even more pleasant half-time team talk for Stanton End, but you really have to say that James Walker, having made a brilliant save, will blame himself for a 2-0 half-time scoreline. Substitution the start of the second half. Carlos Garocho on for Warsaw, attempting to get themselves back in the game because otherwise they're going to head for their fifth straight defeat. And indeed, there's an early injury concern here as well. Dean West sent crashing to the deck. Carlos Caracho's first sortie into the action. Portuguese signed in the summer. He made his debut last week at Crewe. Dean West to his feet. Burnley's record this season has only been blemished by Manchester City. We won here 4-2 on Bank Holiday Monday. Five other victories has seen them commanding leaders 
at this early stage of the season. And Glenn Little trying to ensure another three points, but just thwarted as he was about to let fly. And once again, he was weaving those pretty patterns and causing chaos, really, on the edge of the area. Taylor there. Here's Moore. Brightwell wins it back. Now Rack. Good play from Rack. Oh, and then uh, he blotted that particular coffee book. And a rather errant pass. Velta looks as though he's dropped back into the midfield area since the arrival of Garoccio and the departure of Matthias. Little's come across to take responsibility. Cook once more. Looking towards Moore, but Roper is there. Sliced his clearance, however. Well, the next goal is crucial in this one. If Walsall don't get it, they're sunk, surely. Davis. Little, good play. And again, foot in, though, is important and significant by Gadsby. Leitau. Simpson, little battling back, losing out, however. Garocha looking towards Rack, little picking himself up in the meanwhile. Davis and West getting themselves into a tangle. Here's Aranalde, Barris, Walker with an impressive drop of the shoulder to give himself more time, but his clearance was headed clear by Davis forward and accurately too and here's Rack and he has smashed it into the corner of Nicopolis's net and Walsall are the important scorers of the next goal it was a beautiful ball in played by Letao and the finish which I think took a bit of a deflection off Mitchell Thomas nestled in the corner of the goal Well, Darren Rack certainly had Warsaw's best chance in the first half. He's more than made up for it. <laughs> Terrific goal. A lovely ball by Leitao, which sliced open Burnley. Lovely look at that first-time ball from Leitao, and it sat up. And Mitchell Thomas could do nothing to the stop it. <laughs> Burnley aren't going to get things all their own way. Taylor! Oh, that wasn't far adjacent. 
prefers his right foot to his left, but considering that was his lesser foot, it wasn't too far wide. The score of Burnley's first, almost regaining a two-goal lead for his side. Well, Walsall ably demonstrated in the first half that when they come forward, they can create openings. And there's no better time to put yourself back in the game than in the early exchanges of the second half. They tower again, looking for Rack, and Rack's it again. And Thomas is in trouble, and Rack leaves it for Hedda Velto. And in the end, Noere with a crunching challenge. Hedda Velto picks it up again. In towards Rack, the header from Garaccio. And Burnley are looking a different side all of a sudden. So too, Walsall. What an opportunity. Rack got there, just lost his balance, and Hera Velto beaten to it by Noere. But Darren Rack's little sorties from midfield are very, very incisive. Little. Trying to redress the balance. Cook. Oh dear, well, the, the option there surely was the reverse ball into the middle, but. He went for goal. There were targets by the penalty spot. They weren't picked out. And he apologises. <laughs> well, 2 0 probably was a little unkind on Walsall. Even the most ardent Burnley fan will have to admit that, but they didn't expect Walsall to come out and redress the balance so quickly. And maybe they're going to get it even more than just 2 1. Burnley Sunday are looking rattled. A side flag against Barocho. But Garaccio's introduction in the place of Matthias. A little bit of a reshuffle of sorts, and uh, all sort of back in this game. A shove, which the assistant saw. By Garaccio. to more well, like any other side when you attack them they can look a bit rattled and uh, that seems to have spread forward that uneasiness Here's Rack, who's made such an impact in the early exchanges of the second half, but his pass has gone astray, and Alan Moore will poke it through, and Ian Moore will get on the end. And a great save, really, not just to gather it, but to hold on to it by James Walker. He has advanced from his goal impressively on several occasions, James Walker. And other than the... Rather strange decision he made to come for that ball that led to the second goal. He's been very impressive, James Walker. He'll thank me not to call him immaculate or any such thing, because last time I did, it all went a little fruit shape, shall we call it. You name the fruit. Simpson. Leitao was caught by Mitchell Thomas, referee's way play on because Walsall are working it well and here's Garaccio, well oh, he should have gone for goal I suspect, Herivelto and his shot gathered in by McCopolis. 
And there are choruses of boos where there was cheers earlier from the Burnley supporters. Garaccio, I think, was too unselfish if he'd have had a go first time. And Avelto, in the end, couldn't get it out from under his boots quick enough. Well, league leaders they may have been for a couple of weeks, but... Going forward, they're very different to how they've been defensively. Here's Alan Moore. Now Gareth Taylor, Warsaw regrouping. And they've given away a corner, and they'll be happy that they haven't given away a goal. It's Aronaldi who hooked it behind. Well, Burnley's attacking qualities are there to be seen. They need to regroup defensively. Here's Little. Walker gathered it in. That's... Uh, been a very exciting first 12 and a half minutes of the second half. Action at both ends. Garocho, Rack, Hedevelta, and still, and still, oh, he's been caught, no. That was a tug on the shirt on Ian Moore. <laughs> the Revelto was uh, caught on the edge of one area. The referee waved it away. Roper at the other end halted Ian Moore with a tug of the shirt. And he'll get booked. Moore trying to get away. And he was fouled by Roper. At the other end, Herravelta looked as though he had a legitimate penalty claim for Walsall, but neither referee nor assistant flagged for anything. And Taylor! Oh, the flag's gone up. The flag's gone up. Taylor wasn't to know, and he missed anyway. was floated in, the flag went up, Taylor's header was off target. taken off and Lee Briscoe has come on presumably that's a tactical uh, decision because I haven't seen Moore struggling with an injury Briscoe very much a left-sided midfielder or defender who's going to be reshuffled Alan Moore looks as though he's been pushed on to assist Gareth Taylor Lee Briscoe has moved into the left midfield berth And clearly, Stanton Emp wasn't too happy with the way his Burnley side have set themselves out in this second half, and with the chances Warsaw have had, perhaps you can understand why. And Ian Moore has been, I suspect, sacrificed for a tactical reshuffle. The man who was most displeased with the decision was Ian Moore who trudged off the field Garaccio's challenge has been penalised. Dean West rolling around in agony.
West was decidedly unhappy with that challenge. Garoccio going up for the ball. It was uh, an arm as he tried to lever himself up for the ball, Garoccio. Here's Little, meanwhile. Flag's gone up. I think it was for a foul rather than an offside call. Certainly the gesture was not of an offside decision. Indeed, that is what it was. A free kick for a challenge on Glenn Little. Assistants have a lot more say than when they were formerly called linesmen. And the referee has taken the advice of the assistant for the foul on Little. So Burnley have a free kick, which Little will be involved in the taking of. And he's played it far too high and far too distant. And Walker will play. Now, as he brought it down, he was caught by Gareth Taylor, I think. Accidentally, but painful nonetheless. In fact, it was Thomas. Here's Davis, looking for an option, couldn't find one. And as a result, his pass went astray. Well, this is a very different football match to the one we watched at the back end of the first half. Also looking a beaten team. But they have been a very different proposition in this second. Pedro away by West, headed on by Leitao. Here's Garoccio. The deflection, oh, no goal by Davis! And they've not only got back in it, they've restored parity, and you can't say that it hasn't been coming. Steve Davis putting through his own net amidst the confusion caused by Garoccio's cross. And Burnley, who seemed in control at 2-0, have been rocked by a Walsall side who've come out very impressively. 2-2. All credit to the team nearer the bottom of the table than the top. Well, no one can call the first division a predictable division, can they? Teams from the bottom regularly giving a game to teams nearer the top. And perhaps that's why we enjoy it so much. We can scarcely see the resemblance between the Burnley side that ended the first half to that that we've seen in the second. And it's all credit to Walsall for the way in which they've come out. A different atmosphere in Turf Moor. One of criticism and immense disappointment, except for the three or four hundred from Walsall. Here's Little. Can he change things? Good ball in towards Taylor, and Briscoe's shot was shot. Well, it was brought down by the chest, says the referee. Walsall coming away. The referee graphically described the block as that of a chest and not an arm. Burnley fans want a penalty. Warsaw, meanwhile, are weaving patterns and breaking Burnley down. Here's Garoccio. Adonaldi on the overlap. Time to deliver. Away by Noere. But if Warsaw can turn this game totally on its head to 3-2, 
it will be, even at this early stage, a terrific achievement in the context of the season. And they have a corner. Burnley a second ago thought they had a corner. Glenn Little's cross and Lee Briscoe's shot. Referee said chest. Simpson with a corner, straight in again at the goalkeeper. They are wicked corners to defend. Hit at pace, almost like shots. They do take some defending, those corners. And the introduction of Garoccio on that left-hand side has tested Burnley out more than one occasion too, not least of which for the equaliser. The midpoint of the second half. And you have to say that suddenly it's Walsall very much on top. <laughs> the offside flag has been raised against Gareth Taylor, who is very much ploughing a lone furrow. Ian Moore having been withdrawn. Alan Moore trying to offer support from the left-hand side for Taylor, but seems to have defending duties too, or at least seems to be coming back. Here's Little. Now Cook. In towards Taylor. It can reach Moore, and Risco has restored Burnley's lead. Cheer up the Burnley faithful. And there's your proof. The Warsaw have got to get themselves back in the game again, thanks to some lax marking in the area. Alan Moore and then Lee Briska. Only on as a sub a few moments ago. And he's beaten poor old James Walker. Well, there's no reason to think that Warsaw can't come back again. It's certainly been that kind of game. And they have a corner already. It's been an entertaining old game, this one. Where's your money? The Coppolis ensuring that Warsaw can't get back on level terms too swiftly. And Rinaldi forced backwards, picks out his goalkeeper. Approaching the last 20 minutes. Burnley three, Warsaw two. Letao keeping the ball off. Here's Fitzroy Simpson. And a shot from Gadsby, but he got it all wrong. But again, in that little move, it showed that Walsall's passing is opening out Burnley, creating gaps. Here's more. Taylor. Losing out to Roper, and in fact it was a foul by Taylor. For which Walsall have a free kick. Stanton End has come out from the dugout, right alongside his fullback to issue some important instructions and Though his side lead, he'll be less than pleased with the way they've played. They have 19 minutes to ensure 
that they're not going to get a stinging full-time team criticism from their manager. Little one-two, which Little tried to work, and Briscoe! Oh, he's loving it now. Maybe the criticism won't be too harsh on the manager after all. One-two that Little tried to work with Taylor ended up coming to Briscoe. His finish was sound. Taylor and Little, you can see, were trying to combine, but once it reached Briscoe, he got his second of the game. Well, will that have seen off Walsall? Ray Graydon will have been delighted with the side, the way his side has played in the second half, but he'll probably just not believe that they're now back where they started. 2-0 down, back to 2-2, down by two again. Two goals in a matter of minutes against Rotherham last week saw off a relegated side here at Turf Moor. Two goals in, well, three minutes or thereabouts. Looks as though it may have seen off another promoted side this week at Turf Moor. trying to send Noere away. Ian Brightwell with a tackle. Briscoe's cross deflecting into the arms. Of well, he's made some impact, hasn't it? Field is going to be introduced. A striker. Hardly surprising. They need goals. One wonders if uh, Don Goodman is also about to be introduced as well to completely refresh the forward lineup for Warsaw. In fact, they're both now stripped off. So a new spearhead for Walsall. Leitao is one to be replaced. Gadsby another. And Byfield and Goodman will perhaps create a three-man forward line. Going for broke. And an it. Garocha losing out to Little. Here is Little. He was fouled. Kept possession, mind. Wants it back. Gets it back. Here's Cook. Away by Brightwell. Byfield on the chase. He's got some pace on him. Noere, though, is physical and strong. And he ensured that Byfield couldn't win that race. And an Eldick brought it under control and then lost it. And then impeded Gareth Taylor. And Burnley have a free kick. Well, there's still a quarter of an hour of this game to go. We've had six goals. Penalty claim or two along the way. Plenty to uh, take our minds off events elsewhere.
That's an impressive sight, Turf Moor, these days. I mentioned it quietly, but a ground that would not look out of place in the Premiership. Still early days. Here's Byfield. On target. Coppola's had to gather it in and made sure as Goodman came in for the rebound that there were no crumbs being spilt. Byfield shot was perhaps not as firm as he would have liked, and the Coppolas was happy to gather it. Brightwell. It's a good ball. And they're working it well. Here's Fitzroy Simpson on the edge of the area. Byfield. And again, Byfield. It's not going to get there because Mikopoulos managed to regain his footing just in time after that ball spun towards him. Well, if Walsall can get one quickly enough, they aren't out of this game. You can see Mikopoulos scrambling across his area as Byfield honed in. If they are going to mount a comeback, they're going to have to get it mounted fairly swiftly. But they're not out of it, are they? Neither defence can claim to have been watertight this afternoon. Is that handball by Bright? Well, it was. Another example of some rather hurried defending. Adding to the pressure. Now, Briscoe, meanwhile, will allow his mind to drift to thoughts of a hat-trick as Cook swings it in towards Taylor. Simpson hooking it away. Garocho can't get there. West with the up and under, Walker with the gather. Here's Herovelto. Losing out to Cook. And he's tried the chip, and he'll score the goal! And that is magnificent! Walker absolutely stranded. And the Brazilian head of Elto tried to sell one trick too many. Cook won it, looked up, and finished exquisitely. Head of Elto tried to just nick it away from Cook, but once Cook had won the ball, he sized up the situation quickly, and his finish was perfection. Ten minutes to go. Burnley, five. Warsaw, two. Is that the end of the score? I doubt it. Well, the Burnley fans can now celebrate the fact they're top of the league again. About 15 minutes ago, they were booing. It's not how you start, it's how you finish, is the song. It'll be interesting to hear the views at the end of the game of both managers, because there'll be plenty of positives that the defeated side can take from the game. Ray Graydon will clearly not be totally thrilled, but there'll have been several things that will have pleased him. While what looks to be the winning manager, Stan Turner, will have plenty to criticise his side about. And doubtless he'll let them know. Their finishing, however, has been exquisite. West slamming it away. Here's Brightwell again. Head of Velter. Back to his skipper. No offside. Here's Byfield. Plenty of time. Has he got a finish? Well, he tried to square it. Davis was there.
But Walsall have opened up Burnley time and time again in this second half. And if uh, Burnley's defenders are forced to watch this game, they'll have plenty to chew on. Well, Roper now Barris head of Elta Goodman. That will be a free kick to Warsaw, although both players have ended on the floor. Completely accidental, but Cook was left on the deck. And Alberto and Cook to their feet. Not for the first time this season, the home fans have cheered the name of Glenn Little as the man of the match. was always unlikely to be a defender who ended up with an accolade. Here's Simpson. Adonaldi. Byfield looking. Byfield getting. Time for Rack to drift one in. And the header was won by Garoccio, but over the top. All fans have decided that the game's up and the Burnley fans are enjoying these last few minutes. Head of Elton. Simpson. And ball, says the referee, and awards Walsall a free kick. Head of Elton. Simpson. <laughs> the play from Little. Alan Moore with a header. Ball with a first time ball forward. Burnley are going to make another substitution. John Mullen coming on. And Alan Moore making way. <laughs> Five minutes to go in this extraordinary game of football. Burnley have won this match twice over, we can say. Here's Adonaldi in acres of space. First time ball's a good one. Darren Rack on the end. Goodman looking and just past the post. And it's gone out and it's a corner. Nicopolis must have got the last touch on that. Rax header. In came Goodman. Corner. Byfield. Adonaldi. Firm header away by Taylor. Up to Little on halfway. 
turning and losing to Garaccio. Getting it back, however. Here's Glenn Little. Now Mullen. West. Ball. Cook. Whose magnificent fifth goal looks surprisingly as though it will have been the game's last. Here's Briscoe, whose two goals were significant. Taylor. And Briscoe's offside as he had a good, well, brief look at the match ball that he fancied keeping. Brightwell, whose defence has been breached five times. That's a foul on uh, Darren Rack by Kevin Ball. Simpson. And still. Shot one off target. in the back, they only have a free kick and before they take it they're going to introduce their final substitute now Taylor will make way and Tony Ellis will come off like for like, forward for four he has a couple of minutes plus those added to ensure Burnley's winning pack. Here is Ellis. Neat turn. How's that for a first touch? Cybernetic. And he's been regularly introduced for a brief period at the end of a game. And throughout his career, he's notched over 200 goals, and you can see why. That was his first touch. Goodman, no offside, good save from Nicopolis. Ah, oh, for an out of counting how many chances there's been for both sides this afternoon. But Nicopolis is the latest goalkeeper to cover himself in glory. Good save to deny Goodman. Kept his concentration. to stop his time of which there'll be three minutes I wonder if either side can keep a clean sheet in stoppage time Pedevelto keeping it off Mitchell Thomas out muscling him and indeed he's won a free kick for his side
high field. Trying to get round Davis. Tumble is an inopportune moment and a Burnley goal kick. flag was raised and the Burnley fans will tell you the position that they will find themselves in at the end of play we are top of the league they chant although they've done it the hard way this afternoon albeit the entertaining way Goodman on the chase, but to no avail. Chest down by Ennis. Little one two in the midfield. Briscoe comes away with it. Here's Little popping up on the left hand side for the last few seconds. Briscoe once more. Little. Side flag up against Ellis. Davis's pass. A lot of time is now completed, and the Burnley fans rise to their feet after what was a thoroughly entertaining game of football, which, in effect, Burnley won twice. Paul Cook was the final scorer, making it 5 2. Glenn Little's contributions were significant. But having led 2-0, Warsaw came back terrifically and passionately in the second half before two goals from Lee Briscoe really took it out of their way and have given us a 5-2 scoreline, which will keep Burnley top of the table. Thank you. 